Hi Pisces, it is Monday, October 24th, 2022, and it is 1.15 a.m. here in Texas as I'm starting off your reading. But whenever you're viewing this video is when you're meant to receive these messages. Your first card is the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Center card of your reading is the Four of Pentacles, which shows up here in reverse. We have the Lovers, Gemini Energy. The Seven of Wands. The Four of Cups. And the Nine of Pentacles. All right. On the bottom of the deck here, Pisces, you have the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Okay, I don't see what's going on. Just one more shuffle, Pisces. Why is this five of pentacles here? All right, so there's there's an energy here of sadness showing up as your very first card, Pisces, and timing is fluid, so put this energy where it belongs in your life, but I'm feeling like, I mean, I, I have this energy here of sadness. Three of Swords is here also. There's heartbreak, sadness. Um, we have Taurus energy with the Hierophant. On the card of the Hierophant here, you can't really see it too good in this card, but um, I feel like you're going within, you know, looking for a straight answer. And the truth of the matter is here is there, you know, there, there's not one right answer. There's two people on the front of this card. And in my other decks, they're wearing different, different designs on their shirts here in front of the Hierophant. Um, the pillars are gray, which means yes and no. So some, to answer some questions, it, it's right in this person's mind and it's also right in this person's mind. Okay, so there's no straight answer that you're looking for. You're looking for a black and white answer and there is no black and white answer. Some things are in the gray area. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Different people have different points of view on this, you know, there's sadness here in your energy and I feel like you're thinking really hard trying to come up with some clear answer and sometimes we have to give ourselves closure. Okay, so we have the Ten of Swords, Strength, Leo energy and the two of pentacles here. 
I feel like something could have just happened or will just happen soon that seems like some type of a huge great opportunity but it ends very quickly here Pisces it's not all it's panned out to be and I feel like you're showing up here with the best of intentions and you end up getting hurt in some way with the Ten of Swords. And so make a decision to have strength, you know, because you're kind of going back and forth, like, why did this happen? And like I told you, you know, there, not everything has a black and white answer to it. There's some people that are a little bit off and so there's no way you can make sense of their thoughts. Let me find out why that's there, the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Lovers. Wow, and the Two of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this is a connection where you're connecting with someone. This could be a romantic relationship. This is Gemini energy, but I'm feeling like there's a lot of passion in this connection and it seems very exciting whether this has recently happened or coming into your energy, but um, I feel like you let yourself be vulnerable here to someone a little bit too vulnerable, maybe. This vulnerability is coming from a, a place where you could have had your walls up for quite a while and you've built walls up around yourself, but now you're wanting to be recognized. You're wanting to change the energy. And I feel like it leads to disappointment here which is hard to say, but it's, it's leading to disappointment. Why is the seven of pentacles here? We have the emperor, Aries energy, the chariot, cancer energy, and the high priestess. Yeah, someone's just moving towards you here and you're, you're looking at them out of the corner of your eye. Someone moving in too quick, too fast, too controlling. This person, um, and it's like, I feel like you've been, you've been in an energy here, Pisces, where you've been keeping things behind the veil. And this person just wants to like almost just move in right now. It doesn't make sense. They're doing something like that. Like they're trying to just get right into your life. And they're moving towards you very, very quickly here with the chariot. I'm also getting from the chariot. I'm also feeling like Pisces, there's something, this energy has taken you out of your comfort zone. There's a city behind the chariot with its walls around the city and you've come outside of that city. You've went outside of your comfort zone and you've met up with someone here that, that seems to want to be in control. And it's a little bit too much too fast. And that's why we have the chariot here fast. I mean twice because like I said, you've stepped out of your comfort zone here a little bit. Why is the chariot here? The hangman, the page of swords, and judgment.
I feel like Pisces, um, when it comes to you stepping out of your comfort zone here, I feel like you're looking at this hangman energy where, you know, you're needing to take a little break. You've taken a little break in your mind out in your mind to kind of rehash what happened, you know, trying to learn from it and make a judgment call here. And the judgment call I'm seeing you making here is to hold back. Well, actually, let me clarify this because this is in reverse. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? It's also on the bottom of the deck here. So I did give that a right call, hold back. Let me see something, let me clarify this judgment call because you might be rushing to a judgment call too quickly and Spirit is telling you to hold back. You don't need to rush to judgment here. Why is judgment here? We have the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so with this new information clarifying judgment, um, this person may try to correct things. They may um, want to, you know, apologize for their actions, come back in, make things right. But I'm feeling like this is a new energy that has stepped into your life or will be soon. But don't make a judgment call too quick. Let me see what the message is of this person. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Okay, so yeah, I'm feeling like that might be you also trying to rush to judgment. Page of Wands. It's going to be a message that comes in. The Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Hermit. Virgo energy. I feel like in, in time here, Pisces, in time, something's going to change and you may want to you know, rethink your decision here. And so be careful of the way that you, you know, close this chapter out, close it out in a good way. If you're wanting to close it out, close it out in a good way, because this may not be something that you want to permanently close. Why is this four of pentacles here? Whether this is a job or a person, why is the four of pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Star Aquarius energy. The timing might just be off here for you, Pisces, because you might be, you know, not ready for this quite yet. And so we have the star, which is um, a wish fulfillment. This energy that I'm reading right now, it may come back later on as your wish fulfillment. And so don't take any action here. You know, leave in a peaceful way. And we have the nine of pentacles here because this will um, help you in some way, Pisces. But right now, I feel like it's just not the right time for you. You're not ready to rush into this yet. Why are the lovers here? And then we have the lovers. The Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. 
I mean the Six of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles, which is where we're starting off. No, it's not where we're starting off. It was because I pulled a few cards out for you guys before I started this reading, and it started with this Page of Pentacles. I feel like um, you could still have memories of your past. Like there's someone here in the past that is still on your mind and it's hard to release this person. It's someone that you love and this, this new person, this new energy um, is showing up in some type of a right and correct way. But there's something here about it that may leave you feel de feeling defensive. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. This is a blessing in disguise. See, hold back from being very defensive and guarded up from this energy it's coming in quick and it may show up when you're just not ready for it and you're just not thinking about it but this is this cup <coughs> <coughs> sorry Pisces this cup this message coming in this is a blessing in disguise that I really feel like you're going to want to revisit later. <clears throat> and if you act too quickly, if you shout out, if you rush to judgment, and don't, if you really need to close this out, close it out properly, because I'm not sure what it is. It's, it will be different for all of you. This is a general reading. If you don't do this, you could miss an opportunity here which is a very good opportunity, Pisces. It's something that you're going to want later. Why is this Four of Cups here? We have the Tower. The Three of Wands. And the Magician. Look at this. There's something here that's showing up here as possibly a missed opportunity that, you know, you are too quick to raise that sword and cut somebody off. And this is pretty strong energy here. So I want to clarify this seven of swords here, but I want to go back to where we're at first because this this could be a missed opportunity. This could be something that you wait for in the future and it completely blows up with the tower. In other words, don't burn your bridges. This could be future energy of something that you wanna manifest, something that you actually want. So I'm feeling like in this reading, Spirit is telling you very strongly here, do not burn your bridges by um, reading too much into something and cutting someone off too quick or something or whatever this is. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The World, Five of Cups, and the Four of Wands. See, the Seven of Swords is you running away with your thoughts, putting too much into something, um, worried about this person stabbing you in the back, betraying you, closing out a cycle, ending it, acting too quickly with this Knight of Swords. And it's because of your past, disappointment from the past, when this is going to lead to something great. This is going to be something that you want with the Four of Wands here. It's going to take you on the right path.
but I'm picking up something strongly about timing here. So before we close out this reading, I'm going to clarify that timing. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? And you may be up in your mind and your thoughts about, do I really, really want to slam the door on this? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? We have Justice, Libra Energy, the Empress, and the Knight of Cups. See, there's the Eight of Swords again on the bottom of the deck. You could be up in your mind about this opportunity when it presents itself and you may just slam the door on it. Spirits are saying, don't do that. End this properly and correct, politely, if it needs to be ended, but do it right because karma will come back. And as we re end this reading with the Nine of Pentacles, I'm seeing you moving from the Nine of Pentacles into Empress energy and you not doing this. Justice, this is good karma coming back to you. You will get good karma for this. I want to clarify that separately. Let's see, someone rushing in too quickly, don't judge, don't jump to a judgment call. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What is the significance of the Wheel of Fortune? The Ace of Swords. It's going to bring truth. It's going to, with the Ace of Swords, it's going to enlighten you. It's going to take this, um, this mask off your eyes so that you can see clearly. Yeah, it's like time will tell. See, you're up in your head here about this decision and about moving away from someone or something and um, making a decision here. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune again and the Fool. So, you know, which direction are you going to go here? Are you going to take a leap of faith on this? Or I feel like the fool is here because this opens up a gateway for you, this connection. Because sometimes on the Wheel of Fortune, the snake is coming down. Not all the time in our life is good. And sometimes it's going up. And I feel like when this person, the timing is just off right here. And so it feels wrong. <clears throat> but close the door slowly because this is going to come back up again. It's going to be something that you want. That is um, quite a reading. And it's telling you not to miss this opportunity. Don't slam this door. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon and Libra. And look at the bigger picture. Full moon and Sagittarius. And on the bottom of the deck you have communi <clears throat> communication is key. Full moon in Gemini. I feel like we need more information on this. Very strong messages here. <clears throat> what does Pisces need to know? Spirits. Pisces.
Three of Autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do, being comp compensated for your creative talents. And the sun, plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead you to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. <clears throat> Two of spring is on the bottom of the deck, a bright future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. There's some type of a partnership coming into your life that could be in love or in work. And um, don't let your past hold you back, basically. Let's pull out a love angel card and see what's going on in love. What does Pisces need to know about love? Pisces. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And that's why we're starting off here with the Three of Swords. There's heartbreak here in your energy, Pisces, from the past. You deserve love. You are lovable. All right, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you today. I hope they help you to see the bigger picture. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me to the end. And um, supporting me. I love you guys. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and everything you guys do for me. And I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.